Giving has always been a big part of our family. Even when we didn't have much growing up, my parents made it a priority to tie 10% of our income to church. And this is a value I want to pass on to my children. So how excited was I when I learned about the Donor Advice Fund? Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tay from Financial Tortoise, a channel dedicated to helping the Sanders generation reach financial security. In this video, I want to talk about the Donor Advice Fund, also known as STAFF. I've been funding it for the past several years, and it's been an amazing tool in my giving. Not only do you feel like a billionaire, have you ever heard of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation? Well, how about Tay and Monica Kim Foundation? We're kind of in the same ballpark plus or minus about $50 billion in difference. But the main benefit is that there are some pretty cool tax and investment mechanisms you can take advantage of so you can maximize your giving. Many of you guys might be asking at this point, why in the world is Tay talking about this thing called Donor Advice Fund? Isn't this a personal finance YouTube channel? Where's the video on making money and getting rich? Don't worry, I have plenty of videos that will cover those topics. However, I do believe that once many of us cross the point of enough, enough money to take care of our family, our retirement and a sense of peace, we feel like we want to make a positive impact on the world around us through effective giving. If you can bear with me for a minute, I want to share with you a bit of a personal story. As my last job in the US Army, I was stationed with a unit located just south of the demilitarized zone in South Korea, also known as the DMZ. As one of the division intelligence officers, I was responsible for reviewing all the intelligence reports from the night before and highlighting any relevant items for our division commander. One day, as I was reviewing the reports like any other, a North Korean defector report caught my eye. Apparently, a female defector had crossed over the night before and had been detained and interrogated by the South Korean military. It showed a picture of a girl about my age in raggedy old clothes that had clearly been through a lot. However, what caught my eyes the most was the birth year. I was 27 years old at the time, and she was exactly my age. That memory sticks out to me because she represented what my life could have been if my grandfather hadn't fled from North Korea with my two-year-old mother at the height of the Korean War. We were born the same year and not too far from each other, both having been born on the Korean Peninsula. Yet, here we were on two completely different sides, one having to run for her life, while the other able to run with all the opportunities life had provided. For me, when I step back and look at history more broadly, I feel so blessed to have been given the opportunity to even fathom the idea of financial security or financial independence. These are concepts that were not even imaginable to the most of mankind throughout all of history. And an average person even 100 years ago was struggling just to survive. But today, many of us are able to enjoy immeasurable number of opportunities. I give financially and I want to pass on that value to my children because it reminds me daily the immense opportunities that I have that many in the world are not able to enjoy. If you're watching YouTube videos like this and are managing your money well, it is not if you will grow your net worth, but when. And as our net worth grows and we're able to have enough to meet our basic needs for our children as well as for our aging parents, effective giving could be a good outlet for the many of us. So this is why I'm so excited to talk about the Donor Advice Fund. Because not only is it a smart mechanism to support my values of giving, I can do it with style. A simple way to think about Donor Advice Fund is to think of it like a mini foundation. Ever heard of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or the Walton Family Foundation? Well, by opening up a DAF, you're essentially creating your own personal foundation. It is a charitable investment account created for the sole purpose of supporting charitable organizations you care about. So where can you open up a Donor Advice Fund? Two good options are Vanguard and Fidelity. Though I love Vanguard for its low cost index funds, I actually went with Fidelity when it came to my Donor Advice Fund. The reason is because Vanguard has a $25,000 minimum initial contribution and a $5,000 minimum for additional contributions. Fidelity, on the other hand, has no minimum for initial contribution as well as for additional contributions. I didn't have $25,000 lying around and wanted the ability to contribute less than $5,000 into the fund if I wanted to. Also, Fidelity had good low cost index fund as option within the donor advice fund. Now, what are the benefits of using a donor advice fund for your giving? Let me share with you five pretty convincing ones. First one is you get to name it, just like a billionaire. And because I'm pretty narcissistic, I named ours the Tay and Monica Kim Foundation. Yes, 
Judge me all you want. The second benefit of using a DAF is the immediate tax deduction. This is definitely a good problem to have, but there might be years when you want to make a contribution to lower your taxable income, but you don't have a specific nonprofit or an organization to give to yet. The great aspect of a donor advice fund is that you can fund your DAF whenever the tax benefits make the most sense to you without thinking about who you're giving the money to and when. This ability to time your deduction can be a great tool in your tax management strategy. Number three is that you can contribute your assets directly into the fund. If you have stocks or assets that have appreciated in value, you can move them directly into your donor advice fund. You get a tax deduction for the full market value and you don't have to pay any capital gains tax on the gain. You get to kill two birds with one stone no taxes, and more money for your mini foundation. Also down the line, if you have 401k or traditional IRAs that you need to withdraw because of RMD, require minimum distribution, you can roll part or all of it directly into your DAF, tax-free. Number four is my favorite. This is where your DAF can function as a long-term giving machine like a major foundation. The money that is deposited into the account doesn't need to just sit there. You can invest that money so that it can grow for future giving. I have my DAF with Fidelity like I mentioned earlier. Within Fidelity Charitable, there are several different investment options. Thankfully, there are good index options which I went for. And like a good tax advantage account, not only did you receive tax deduction when you put money into it, it grows completely tax-free. And you can add more money to your foundation whenever you choose. I've been contributing to a DAF regularly for the past several years, and I'm excited to see how it's grown to more than what I've deposited so far, just like any of my other investment accounts. This will allow my wife and I the ability to give more and continuously in the future towards causes that we strongly believe in. The fifth benefit of a DAF is that you get to decide which charities receive your money, how much, and when. And this can be done anytime. It can be done immediately after you deposit the money into the DAF, or it can be done many years in the future after the money in the DAF has grown. This is how you can give like a billionaire. One thing to note though, once you put your money into a DAF, you can't take it back. It's part of the fun now. You can control where the money goes, but it's no longer your personal money. Thank you guys for watching. If you found value from this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other upcoming videos. I firmly believe that being part of the Sanders generation doesn't have to mean financial stress. With careful planning and preparation, we can thrive during this stage of life. Help me spread the knowledge. Thank you again. I'll see you in my next video.